Hello there again. My name is Alberta Viala and today I decided to do something completely different. I got a mail from a guy and I will read that to you. He said, hello Betty. My name is and I have been married for the past six years. For the past four years I have been tolerating my wife's attitude, bad character and what have you. It would not be appropriate for me to tell you all about it but after you replied to me I would know which ones to bring again. Is it right for my wife to refuse me sex when she is angry? Is it even legal that she refuse me sex whenever we have any fight? She puts on a trousers and comes and lie in bed beside me. How long can any man tolerate this? And why do they even complain about us cheating when they won't give us what we want as their husbands or partners? Betty, please do this video because this will help a lot of us guys and a lot of our ladies that think refusing us sex is the right thing to do to punish a man. Well, ladies, you are a lady, I'm a lady, I'm not going to beat about the bush, and I will just go straight to the point. First of all, sex is not a pay. I mean, when you are making love with your husband, you're not making love because he's going to pay you, or because he's going to treat you right. You're making love because legally, you are supposed to make love to your husband. Spiritually, you are supposed to make love to your husband. Emotionally, you are supposed to make love to your husband. I have read on my tongue because I ate my kids ice cream. Anyways, when you refuse your husband love making and then go about and complain when the man has extramarital affair, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to prove? Who are you trying to prove that to? Sweetness, sex has never been a form of a payback. If you want to pay your husband back, stay in the house and don't talk. Let him see a different attitude about you. Why would you get married to a man? Decide to say, I do. I want to stay with you. I want to leave with you. I do. And then after you're married to this man now, you the lady decide that it is time for you to take law or matters into your own hands because your husband cheated or your husband did something you don't like. Each time you start seeing sex as a form of punishment to your husband, you are trying to let him know when I'm angry and he don't come close to me, he can go out when I'm angry. When he gets you angry, he wouldn't even come close, he wouldn't even happily look at you. He will just go straight out there and be with the girl he wants. Women, people, we are the creators of homes. Men can't create homes. We ladies create the homes. A lady wrote to me and said, it's like you're always dissing women, but you're a woman yourself. The mere fact that you have a perfect marriage doesn't mean every other woman sees marriage like that in their home. Far from that, my dear. Your husband cheats, my husband cheats. The difference is, when you're matured in marriage, and you even find things like that, they don't become the issue, the center of your problem at home. You need to look at the real reason why he started cheating. Something of that sort. When your children are not happy, you try to find out from them why they are not happy. Why can't you find out from the man why he's cheating, why he's not happy with you? And guys, why can't you find out from your women why they are not happy, why they are cheating on you? What would you benefit as a wife? What would you benefit in wearing a trousers to lie next to your husband and say, Don't touch me. Please. I am not in the mood. Oh my goodness, sweetheart. Go into the Bible and check. The Bible has confirmed and has said that in during the end time, eight women will clench on, will hold on, will call one man 
their husbands. So if you are lucky and you have a man of your own and he does something wrong, you should rather push it some down more on him. Push it down more. I like that guy's song. Uh, push it, push it some more. I love that song. You should push it down more on him. Make him tired. Make him exhausted. That way, he doesn't go out and do anything with any girl because he is half tired. His girlfriend calls him and he will tell her, I'm sorry, I worked late today. He wouldn't say my wife gave me a good time today. He would just say I worked late today. Learn to keep your men home. Sexual intercourse or love making binds people together. When there's a fight and you make love, you suddenly forget about that fight because like it's emotional. It has it, it's everything that is coming from you, like everything coming from your inside, your head. When you're making love, you use every part of your body. Like literally you use every part of your body. That's when everything moves within your system. That's why when the guys are done, they are tired because they've done a good job and they are so tired. 30 minutes, 45 minutes on you is not a good, like it's not a bad thing, right? So they're exhausted and tired. But if you, the ladies, sit at home, get angry because you went and looked into your husband's phone, found something that you are not supposed to find, then you start fighting about it. That's funny. There's a saying that says, uh, in my language, um to me spell I meant true. If you can't spell, don't write. Firstly, you need to be able to spell words before you write. Because when you write and the spelling is wrong, nobody would understand it. So if you can't spell, don't write. If you can't take the heat from your husband's phone, what message they get, don't go on it. If you wanted it to be Mr. and Mrs. phone, he would have said, honey, when you use this phone one day, I use this phone one day. When you use it one day, I'll use it one day. That way it will be Mr. and Mrs. phone. You understand? But since he hasn't done it like that, sweetheart, it's a personal phone, it's his. A husband has the right to keep female friends. A husband does not have a right to cheat on his wife. You husbands, you don't have right to hurt those women that are with you. Women, when the men hurt you, don't deny them sexual pleasure. Sex, love making, bonding binds the two of you as married couple. That's why when a woman refused to make love to her husband for after so long, he can stand on that ground and uh, uh, give her a divorce paper or divorce her. But if you say to your husband today, Masa, I saw you in a restaurant with a girl. Therefore, I am not going to give you sex. So don't even look for sex when you get home. When you do it once or twice, thrice to him, he knows. Believe me, you, when he knows you're angry, he won't even come home early. He will finish with whatever sexual activities he's got to do outside. Be done with everything, then show his face to your house and disrespect you some more. When your men are wrong, don't use sex on them. Secondly, I wanted to do something, but I'll do it in my next video or when I'm doing my next video. It's about we ladies out here, we ladies abroad. Ladies back home don't have that kind of problem, but we out here have that kind of problem with our children's money. I will do that when I'm doing my next one. But ladies, please, stop refusing your men's sex when you're married to him. Sex is not a form of punishment. If it was, when Adam and Eve offended God, God would have closed Eve's thing. So Adam doesn't go there because he made God angry by eating the uneatable fruit. And God would have made Adam's own shrink just so Eve doesn't have access to it. But because it wasn't for any punishment, he allowed them to keep doing it. When your husband offends you, let him do it. When your wife offends you, give it to her heart. Let her know who is the boss. Let her scream when you're giving it to her. Pump it hard. 
hammer it, tap it, and let her feel who is the boss. When your husband is going out and cheating on you, exhaust him. Make him exhausted. Do it each time, every second, every minute with him, just so he doesn't even have the energy to get out of the gate to go to the woman. Let us try to keep our homes. My home is not perfect. It's not any perfect than yours. But the difference is, each time I learn something from people, I practice it at home. I practice meekness. I don't complain a lot. I don't fight a lot. When I talk about one thing, I talk about it, I complain and I quit. But some of you women will complain about the same thing for 10 years, for 5 years, for 2 years. Men get tired. It's like hearing the same joke over and over and over and over again. Eventually, it's a nice joke when told to new people. But to the same old people, it's the same old lame joke. Let us learn to appreciate each other. Appreciating each other is the best thing you can ever give to God. You found a woman and God said you found a virtuous woman. You found a man and God said you found a good thing. Keep making it good. Don't listen to people to build your home. Don't listen to little gossips to make your home. When you hear something about your partner, make sure you ask your partner, make sure you tell the person, I'm going to ask my partner and I'm going to mention your name, that you said it. Confirm things with your partners. Be each other's best friend. Be each other's, you know, shoulder to lean on. Let the other person feel your presence. You are married. You are engaged, you are in a relationship, it's a good thing. Let us learn to keep it good. When you met the man at first, you laughed at every little joke. When he made a mistake, he said it in a sweet way. Keep doing that to the end. Ladies, we are always the center of attraction. Let us learn to punish our men in a sweeter way. Let us learn to please our men. Let men learn to please your women. Learn to treat them right. Learn to fulfill their dreams. If she's made you her pillow, don't take it out. If he's made you his pillow, don't hurt him. Love is sweet. Love is beautiful. I don't know how many of you have ever fallen in love before. Every other person see your partner as shitty. <laughs> and you feel they are the best in the world. That is called love. Every other person feels you are making a mistake. And you feel you made the right choice. Don't insult your partners to people and come back and sleep with them on the bed. I don't care whether you like me or not. I will say the truth and I would always say it. Ladies change, guys change and let our marriage be an enjoyable one. Because marriage is fun. Marriage is exciting. Let us keep it so. Thank you very much. Albert Aviale again. Peace out. Enjoy your marriage.